Hi, I'm Scott from Roland, and I'm proud to be here on behalf of Guitar Center showing you the Phantom. The Phantom is the centerpiece that represents a brand new direction for Roland. The functionality and design is everything and more than you'd expect from the Phantom brand name. It's an extremely diverse instrument with logical playability and a workflow for every musician. There are three different sizes. An 88 note version with the RD2000 action plays beautifully and a 76 and 61 note version with our best synth action yet. But most importantly, it just sounds amazing and plays beautifully. <laughs> So let me give you a quick overview of the front panel. The left side is the controller side, the right side is the synth side, and it's of course surrounded, the centerpiece is the touch panel screen. So on the left side, the controller side, you have 16 zones, and these could be internal or external controllable zones. You have eight endless encoder knobs and eight sliders. These sliders also double as harmonic draw bars for the tone wheel organ. The right side is the synth and creation side. Of course, you got this amazing filter section. You have envelopes and uh, pitch filter and amplifier. And remember, everything is visual on the Phantom, so that's awesome. You have the sequencer, three different types, TR recording, step time, and also normal linear recording. You have rhythm patterns, you have the pad modes, multifunctional pads, and you have the sound category buttons where you can easily select any of the sounds. So as I mentioned, you have the controller side and the synth side, and in the center is this large touchscreen display. Now, the Phantom is this modeless concept, and everything is represented in a scene. A scene is essentially a snapshot of everything the Phantom does, everything on the front panel. So there are four banks, there's a total of 512 scenes, um, they're all organized by color if you want, so that's really nice. So there's so many different scenes that you may want to be able to select a specific one real quick. You can, you can label it by color, by rating, or by a memo. There's master effects, you have the analog filter, which is really nice, you have a morphing feature, where you have a, a, a pad that you can tweak the sound really quickly. You have DAW control. The menu allows you to dig in really deep into the Phantom. You also have a chain mode over here where you can chain your favorite uh, um, scenes together, so for very, very quick playback. You also have different views. You have the zone view um, where you can look at it in single, four, eight, or 16 tracks on the screen at once. So that's really, really cool. Under the menu, you have these six endless encoder knobs. So these are for further tweaking the sound or controlling your DAW. The user interface on the Phantom is basically the ultimate workflow. It's the power and flexibility of digital, but the immediacy of analog. Let's start with a piano sound. Now the pianos that are in here are from our V piano, which is the best technology that we've developed for the piano. Incredibly beautiful feeling in every key range. The V piano is so incredibly sensitive. Absolutely love this sound. Now you can actually go into the V piano piano designer. And this is great because everybody has their own idea of what the perfect piano is. You can detail the tuning, you can detail every aspect of that piano sound so you can make it perfect just for you. There's also some really cool electric pianos. They also have that bite that you need, so if you really want to dig in... You really got that power, everything that you want from an electric piano. There's also some amazing lead sounds. Also, there are some killer electric drum kits and acoustic drum kits.
And if you prefer to play the drum kits from the pads, you got that too. The recent sound engine and new technology development that we have with the Phantom allows us to unleash a lot more creative potential than we've ever done in the past. Now, one of the great things is that we have this full seamless patch uh, remain. Basically, I can have a 16 layered texture and I can go to the next sound totally seamless. This is something that's really important for the live musician. So I have this texture. That's really amazing. Now we also have this ability to create these very evolving textures. For instance, in this particular uh, sound, I have four different zones layering. And of course I can, I can mix these any way I want. Now, this particular sound has a very interesting movement. See how it has this kind of evolving, kind of, uh, it sounds like it's kind of an endless movement. So let's go in and look at this sound. And what this is utilizing is that this is utilizing the step LFO, which is really, really nice. And here is the grid of the, of the step LFO. And you can see that you have all these different steps. I can have different depth amount and I can apply different curves. And that's what gives its evolving texture. With the sound engine, there's new filters. There's a new digital filter and there's an analog filter. Let's take a look at the digital filter. So the first thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna start the arpeggiator. So I got this cool little repetitive thing going on. And now, let's take, let's take a look at the filter. Notice everything is visual, it's nice. Now we have the Jupiter filters, the classic Roland filters, some other classic vintage uh, filter types. Also, you have the 12, minus 12, minus 18, and minus 24 dB slope. That's great. You also have some really cool like, peak filters. With the new sound engine, we've really expanded the frequency range for the filtering, so that's really awesome. All right, let's dive into the analog filter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start another arpeggiated pattern, and you have a level amount that you can tweak here. Um, you can also go in and play around with the overdrive. Very nice. You have your filter settings here, um, cut off and resonance. Now. Your filter, again, everything is visual. Even on the analog filter, you see everything, which is really, really cool. So then I'm gonna go in and play around with the effects and do some uh, EQ tweaking.
There's also this really cool motional pad feature that you can have four different sounds, put any of your favorite sounds here, and then you can tweak between the four different sounds. So it's adjusting levels, so you can really make some very cool evolving textures this way as well. Now, as I mentioned before, the Phantom is completely diverse. There's so many different ways that you can create music, create sound, perform. The sequencer section is really, really awesome. Now, there's three different ways you can do this. You can do this in TR recording, which is kind of our typical roll and drum machine type recording. There's step time, and then there's linear recording. So let me just show you a little bit of each one. So I'm gonna go into TR recording, and as soon as I push play, I, there you'll see my, my grid. These are the events in my grid. So I'll basically just hit a note or an instrument that I want to play and then put it on the grid. So I'll just do a basic drum groove. Now let's take a look at this. We just created a clip of that pattern. So every time I push stop and I go to record something else, it's gonna create a new clip. That's great. So that was TR recording. So now let's go and, and let's select a different part and let's record something in step time. So I just hit step time and I can adjust the, the uh, rhythmic duration of the step time moment and I just play. And now, here we go. Get the idea, it's so, it's so seamless and it's so much fun. Now we'll just record one last part, which will be, I'm basically just gonna play it, okay? Now, there's a couple of cool things. You can have it set for a one measure count in, two measure, or a wait for note. I'm gonna make it wait for note, so as soon as I play, it's gonna go, and then I'm gonna set input quantize to the grid. So essentially, I never hear my rhythmic mistakes coming back, so it fixes it going in, which is kind of nice. So you can see that afterwards, I went and tweaked, went into the mixer section, tweaked the levels, got the panning together. So it really is completely quick, it's seamless, and it's just really enjoyable. You spend more time making music, not futzing with a lot of the, the button pushes. A really cool way that we have the patterns organized in the Phantom is that they are all clip-based. So we have clips for each track. So each track has a different variation. You have many different variations, and you can choose and switch those in real time. So for instance, I'm just gonna kinda riff a little bit and tweak some of these and move some of these patterns around.
can try a lot of new things and kind of experiment with how you want to put your song together. Now let's take it even one step further and let's go to another particular pattern and let's take a listen to this one. So you get the idea, right? Now you can go into a lot of different after the fact editing capabilities. So you have a loop switch that you can go in and loop a particular uh, clip a certain amount of times. You can even change the length of that loop uh, or of that clip after the fact too. That's really nice. You have pattern utilities where you can go in and quantize. You can mix everything as I showed you before. You can rename it. You can import and export these clips either internally here to the Phantom or to your, D, to your DAW, which is also really, really nice. You can mute certain tracks. You can solo tracks. Um, now, this is where it gets really fun. So I can group these song, all of these clips in a particular order, and I can basically start to create my song. So if we go and I have like an intro, verse, chorus, and ending, and I can kind of preview of these, how I've organized these. So that was my intro combination, and here's a verse combination. Get the idea? Okay, now at this point, you have all these different patterns and all these different combinations, and now you wanna put them into a song. So you go into group, and now you can actually, again, change the duration of these loops after the fact. You can change it from a four bar to a one bar loop if you want, but we really wanna make these, uh, these, these clips into a song. So hit make song, and now I just choose the intro, add. Let's go to the verse, add. Let's do two verses. No, I'll just use one for now. Go to the chorus, make a chorus, and now the ending, and now here's our song. So we go in here and this is the playback of our song. Now the cool thing about this is that I could actually skip a section in real time. I could even loop a section if, if, if I really want to. And all this while it's playing, this is very, very cool. All right, let's take a look at the sampler. Now the sampler will hold 1.75 gigabytes. So you have a lot of things that you can sample, short little sections, long verses, you really have the capability here. So now you can store all of your samples here. Perfect for instant playback. But now let's go in and sample something from scratch. Okay, so here in the pad mode, I'm going to select a empty sample bank. Okay, so now, empty. I have four different uh, sample banks that I can choose from. And let's go in and I'm going to play one of the rhythm patterns and sample one of those grooves. Okay, so I'm just going to go into sampling and I'm going to set the auto trigger to on. So as soon as I play, it's going to start recording. Just record that one bar and immediately the, the waveform shows up. I can go and easily edit that if I need to extend it vertically or horizontally. I can easily do that as well so I can get a good loop. Once I get really close, we're looking good. And then I can go to the, uh, the sample, the quick edit, and I can loop that and it automatically goes to the pad. Super easy, very seamless. Now on the back of the Phantom, there's three external USB ports, so I can use those to power up any other gear. In this case, I'm powering up the JU-06A, and there's also dual CV and gates, so I have the CV and gate going out to the SEO2, so I have some really cool combinations. And I also have the output of the SEO2 going into the mix-in of the JU-06A and the output of that going into the Phantom. So everything that you're hearing is coming out of the Phantom, out of the, st the stereo it mains.
basic stuff, but very, very cool and very unique way of using all the Phantom as the centerpiece of your rig. One of the great things about the Phantom is that the DAW integration is really, really stepped up a notch, and we have incredible connectivity with a lot of cool uh, DAW apps. So uh, let's open up main stage. Another thing that's great about this is it's kind of plug and play. You don't have to make any adjustments. It's kind of just gonna see it. That's one of the great things. So um, we're looking here and uh, normally I would be looking at this screen. Okay, so now I can easily just start playing. I can adjust the sounds within the set. I can even skip the sets and go immediately to... And now, if you notice here too that every one of these sounds has smart controls, okay? So, and automatically the smart controls come up here on the Phantom, which is really, really cool. Now you can also layer any of the sounds from the Phantom with uh, that in main stage. So again, you have a 16 layer type of environments. So in any type of situation where you're using a program like main stage, where you need to have a complete immediate accessibility to sounds from your computer, you can do all that directly from the Phantom. This is really, really awesome. Everything can be controlled from the front panel of the Phantom. The DAW integration allows us to open up applications like Logic, and we have complete control of everything from the Phantom. So this means a lot. So you can actually have your computer and your keyboard, if you're sequencing at home, you can pretty much have that off to the side, and you can manipulate and do everything you want from the Phantom. So for instance, I can go in and select tracks. I can have song position, uh, man, uh, control there. I can also set the loop any way I want, move that around. Um, I can also create, I have transport controls of course, but I can also create markers. So I can easily make markers, do the position, make another marker. I have undo and redo. So it's very, very flexible. Um, everything is all from the front panel. So this is, this is really awesome. Now, another thing that's great is that the pad mode allows us to be, uh, allows you to have a little bit of an assistant uh, in manipulating the, the DAW. So I just go to DAW control on the pads, and then I can have up to four different screen sets. So if I want a different environment, I can do a horizontal and vertical resizing, which is really, which is really awesome. Again, the transport controls. I can also open up the browser over here. And if I go further into the menu here, I can open up particular uh, things in a browser like the notepad, the, uh, the loop browser, the media browser, and the editors and things like that. So that's really, really awesome. And again, everything is from the front panel. I haven't even, I haven't even uh, um, touched the computer at this point. Now, another thing that's, that's really awesome here is that uh, if you go over here to the Phantom, you have a couple of different uh, menus to look at. I have a big, the, the display and a big, you know, a big uh, readout, so it's easy to see on stage. I also have all of the tracks. I could have up to uh, 16 stereo tracks, 32 mono tracks, that that's what's gonna control, it be uh, sent out over USB. But I also can see um, all of the smart controls of the instruments. So for instance, I have this drum machine and a lot of third party instruments have um, uh, smart controls already assigned. So they automatically come up. I don't have to do anything in Logic. Now, if I go over here and let's look at the smart controls for this particular instrument. Okay, so you see them and there they are, they come up here. So here's a real typical sequencing situation where you're using DAW control and with Logic. So I have a synth bass part, and I'm just gonna use the transport controls. Two, three, and. Okay, nice. 
Very good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to the third track, which is, I have, this is an internal sound. A nice electric piano on the Phantom. And I'm going to just record that up as audio. So here are the tracks. Here's the audio of the, the electric piano and the bass. Now, just bring in the drums and we basically got our track. Very, very cool, super easy, very, very connected, seamless operation between the Phantom and DAW. Another incredibly useful application with the Phantom and your DAW is if you're controlling backing tracks when you're playing live. Now, many people have a Pro Tools guy off the back, uh, off the side of the stage running this, but now you can do everything from the Phantom. So if you have an environment where you have all of your tracks in Logic, you can use the pads to make sure that, you know, you can see all your tracks. You can use markers to get to your song. You know, if you even have like an emergency situation where you get off the grid and the drummer's not with the track, then you have an emergency stop, a panic button, and a start here. So you can stop it, position where you are in the track, and then make sure, then you press play again. You can actually have the click going out of the sub out to the drummer and you have the tracks going out the main outs. So then you can, you can control the stereo out of the, uh, of, of the track and then you can fade it back in, situation saved. So that's really, really cool. So it's great to sequence at home. It's also great for playing back live backing tracks. All of your creative and musical needs can start and end with the Phantom. Imagine creating music faster and more creative than ever before. There's never been a more comprehensive and diverse musical instrument in Roland's history. The new Phantom extends the Roland's workstation legacy to an unprecedented level. So if you're creating music at home in your home studio with or without a DAW, or you're performing and controlling playback tracks in front of thousands of people, the Phantom is the perfect choice for you. So you really need to go check it out at your local guitar center or go to guitarcenter.com.